Hi there, Ron from RJM Music here once again, and uh, today's topic is hold functions. And a hold function is something you can do with an instant access button uh, to give it a second function. So you have one function, um, the normal function you get when you just press the button and release it, uh, but then you can have a secondary hold function when you hold the function for a certain number of seconds and then it'll act um, potentially completely differently and, and do something different. Um, so it's a, it's a pretty simple thing to set up. Um, we can just go to the buttons tab here and let's put a, uh, let's just set up a simple one on this uh, bank down button here. And um, the first thing you need to do is this change this button mode parameter from normal to hold. And you see when we do this, this splits into button settings and hold functions. And if you click them, you can see they look fairly similar. Um, there are a few changes, but, but not, not much. And so um, whatever we set up here under button settings is the normal, you know, press button settings like you would always do. Um, but now we can go over to hold functions and, we, and our button that was a bank down before can now, let's say, turn a, uh, turn a loop on. So we're going to set this to an IA button and um, we'll leave the settings as defaults and we can add an action audio and let's say loop one. So this being a PVC 6X that we're working with here, um, it has its built in loops, but we could have this, you know, send a, uh, a CC message to, uh, to another device if needed, but we've, uh, Let's call it something as well. And so now we look and now we see it says bank and loop one. And so always the, the main function is listed up top and the hold function is listed below. And so now when we press it, we go bank up. And when we, uh, when we hold it for a couple seconds, it will uh, toggle loop, uh, loop one. Um, pretty, pretty simple. Um, so let's, change this let's do let's do something else here let's add another device we'll do our typical Strymon timeline on channel 2 and we go back to our buttons and let's change this hold function to instead control the Strymon pedal directly so we select timeline and we select CC and we look for the bypass CC and we add that. And so now we're now assuming that this pedal is not in a loop and it's just on its own and we just send it MIDI commands to tell it to turn itself uh, on or off. And so now when we hold it, the pedal will turn on, hold it again, the pedal will turn off. Um, now we can set uh, colors to indicate what's going on. Um, and so basically, well, bank buttons don't really have um, any any color that they use because they're never really on. You just press it and they switch banks and they don't really turn on. Um, so we don't have to worry about that so much. But what we can do here for the timeline, uh, the uh, hold function can have its own on color. Right now it's set to none, but we can say, well, this is an external switch. So any of these will just light up the light. You know, the, the external switches can only have one color. So basically it's just n not none, no color, off or or any color so we'll just uh, set that so now basically we've kind of sort of hijacked that that led on and off um, and used it for the hold function instead of the bank down button which doesn't really do anything with the led anyway so so you'll still be able to see um you know when you hold the timeline the led will turn on hold it again it'll turn off and so we can do that um you know we can we can set things up that way um, we can do some more complicated things uh, with these with these settings, which I will just show you in a moment here. Um, so basically, the hold function is considered just like a a completely separate button that's that's programmable independently. As you see, it has its own set of settings here, but also we can um, program it in the presets tab. And so we can go say like to preset two, and um, we can we can set this and let's say like preset two we want the timeline to turn on automatically we can program this button to turn on and the trick for turning on a hold function is to hold the shift button and then click it and you'll see this uh, highlight here 
and that says that it's going to send that on message to the timeline um, for, for preset two, and then on these other presets where it's not highlighted, um, then it'll turn the pedal off. And so this, you can program this just like you would program anything else, um, you know, any other IA button. Just remember to hold shift to um, tell it that you're changing the hold function and not the, the primary function on the button. So we can go a bit further with this, and one of my favorite configurations is to set up a whole button page that recalls presets on a particular device. We'll go over to button page 4 here, which is currently blank, and we're going to start setting it up to recall presets on our timeline and bypass them. So um, what we're going to do first is we're going to right-click here and copy this page and store button, and we're going to paste it here. So now we can make sure that um, Basically, as we press this button, it goes from page to page to page and, and um, you know, continues on. If we didn't have this button here, we'd get to page four and then we'd be stuck. Uh, another real important thing is to make sure that maximum button page is set to four, at least. Um, any page above page four, or whatever this is set to, is going to be ignored. And so, um, you know, if we want to have four pages, we got to set this at least to four. So going back to our buttons here, we're going to start setting up buttons here to control our timeline. Um, so the first thing we want to do is create an IA button here, and we're going to add an action to send a program change to the timeline. And we're going to call out preset 0, the first preset. Um, and we want the off PC here to be none, because we want the button to, to select a program change on the, uh, on the timeline when we press it, when the button turns off, we don't want it to do anything. Um, so, and we can call this anything we want. I'm just going to call it preset one. You might want something more descriptive, like short delay or long delay, or you know, whatever the the preset is actually supposed to be doing. Um, and the other things we'll do here is we're going to set a group number um, because this is selecting a preset on the timeline, and um, we're going to have multiple buttons that do it. And so, the timeline, of course, can only ever be on one preset at a time, so we want only one of these buttons to ever be on at a time. So if they're all grouped together, pressing one in the same group is going to turn off all the other buttons in the same group. Okay, so that selects the preset. We're going to keep going here, and we're going to set this to hold now to give it a hold function. And then we're also going to set this to IA, and we're going to call this bypass. And um, so this one, what it does is it's going to do a, let's see, well, also a CC to the timeline. And we're going to select which one, and that one is bypass. Now, normally what a button like this would do is when you press it and turn it on, it enables the pedal. And when you press it again, it turns off, you know, bypasses the pedal. And um, these numbers here are uh, what control that. Um, 127 means, um, you know, bypass the pedal, and, and 0 means um, enable it. And so we're going to reverse these um, for reasons that will hopefully become clearer in a little bit. Um, so now we've got the bypass function. And so that's, so when we, when we hold this button for the first time, it's going to bypass the pedal. And when we hold it for the second time, it's going to enable it. Um, and now our color settings. So this is an internal button, so it has multiple colors. And so when this preset one is not selected, the, the, uh, the button will be off. And when preset one is selected, um, the button is going to be blue. Great. So now we want some indication when it's bypassed. So what we're going to do is set both of these to red. And so if this if this um, bypass function is turned on, uh, the, uh, the the LED color is going to become red. And if both, like if, if preset one is selected and we're set to bypass, it's still going to be red. And so we can kind of make um, color decisions based on both the main function and the hold function. So basically, this if if the uh, if the preset is uh, selected. Um, it doesn't matter whether it's selected or not. Um, the, the, the fact that the pedal is bypassed is going to have priority, and it's going to turn this button red. Um, one other thing we need to set up on the hold function, before I forget, is IA link. 
actually on both sides of it. And this will make sure that um, in this case, when this bypass button is turned on, all the other bypass buttons on the same page will also turn on at the same time. And likewise here, this uh, button will highlight whenever the timeline is on the first preset, no matter how we did it. And so even if the, the it was selected, um, you know, by the something in the presets tab or whatever, this button will will highlight whenever um, this, the timeline is on preset number one. Okay, so we've fully set up this button. And now what we're going to do to uh, save ourselves some effort here is we're going to copy that button and we're going to paste it into each location like so. And we're going to set up six presets. So now we do have to change a couple things. We're going to increase this number by one. And we're going to increase this number by one. And we're going to keep doing this for each one. And you'll note that these are off by one. The PC number is lower and that's kind of a, a MIDI thing where presets, preset numbering starts at zero, whereas we as, you know, humans <laughs> would uh, would want to start number things starting at one. But um, that's just something we have to live with in the uh, in the MIDI world. And one more to go. Preset six calls up program change five. Okay, so going over to the presets tab here. So we're looking at page four here already, and we can see everything's here. And this would work the same way on the actual unit. When you press one of these buttons, um, the other ones will turn off and it'll highlight. And so this on a real PVC would select presets one through six on your timeline. I mean, they're called something different on the timeline because they do like, you know, 1A, 1B, whatever. But basically the first six presets on the timeline will be selected. And so now if you hold one of these buttons on the real device, or in the case of um, the editor here, you would hold uh, hold shift and click it. And now see bypass turns on and bypass turns on on all of these. And so now we know that the pedal is bypassed for this preset. And um, because we've uh, set it up the way we did with send and update on preset change turned on, we can, um, you know, set this up for every preset and we can say, well, on preset one, on, on mastermind preset one, let's say we want preset four turned on in the timeline. On preset two, we already set it up to be bypassed, no timeline at all. Preset three, you know, maybe preset five on the timeline, preset four, we want this one bypassed as well. I just shift click on any of these bypass buttons and they all turn red. And so you can do that quickly and set up each preset to uh, recall, you know, either bypass or recall a preset on the uh, on the timeline. And so doing it this way, there, are, you know, as we've looked at in previous videos, you can select timeline presets here as well. Um, the uh, the reason you would want to do it this way by by selecting buttons and saving them is that you can. This kind of programming you can easily do on the unit itself just by pressing a few buttons. And um, you would also be able to program both the bypass and the program selection at the same time, where here you would only be able to select which preset is, uh, is selected and you would have to do the bypass some other way. So programming on the unit itself would work like uh, any, any other um, IA buttons. You could just... Um, you know, physically press these buttons or hold them to turn on bypass and then hold this page IA store button for three seconds. And then it would say stored on the screen and it will remember the current settings for that, uh, you know, for that preset. Speaking of hold time, there is one thing we want to do here is look at in the global tab, there is a hold time um, uh, so selection here. And by default, um, if you hold a button for 1.2 seconds, it will, um, you know, it'll trigger the hold function. You can uh, raise or lower this to however you like, and that will apply to all hold functions on all buttons. Um, so you can just kind of play with that and, and uh, figure out what works best for you. Okay, so that is hold functions, and that is all for this week. As always, please uh, like and subscribe if you want to hear more, and please let us know if you have any questions or comments. Thanks very much.